I'm going to switch gears now. We're going to start talking about our journal challenge. Kelly says, I'd gotten off track, gained back a few pounds, getting back at it today. It's good to have you back. Um, I have not tasted a Mighty Muffin when on vacation. What can you replace it with? Um, you mean like you haven't found a Mighty Muffin, Bernice? Okay, on vacation, you can't find a Mighty Muffin. What can I replace it with? Does anybody know? I don't remember if those Kodiak ones work on the program. Um, if you really like Mighty Muffins, I can't really think of a, a great replacement for a Mighty Muffin other than a Mighty Muffin. I know that HelpWise has them. Uh, or AHS has them, one of them companies, but you won't be able to find those on vacation. You might just want to switch gears for breakfast throughout your vacation. Is there? Do you need help coming up with a breakfast idea that will work? You probably are wanting something quick, in a hurry. Well, Anna says Walmart has them. Walmart, the Kodiak muffins are approved but not good on the weight loss meter. That's what I was thinking. You're in Texas on vacation and want a Mighty Muffin, but can't find a Mighty Muffin. I can't think of a good replacement. The only thing, if you're in a hurry, like- The I'm, Halo Top, um, Travis. The Halo Top? Yeah. Halo Top. Halo Top might be a good replacement. They come in different flavors and it's kind of similar. It's like desserty, kind of like. Yeah, yeah, you can definitely have Halo Top ice cream. Is that what you're... No, they have a Halo Top powder kind of thing. Oh, really? Yes, they do. Halo Top, look for it. They have yeah. different flavors. It kind of puts me in the mind of a uh, Mighty Muffin. Where you could, where wow. they have the, um, the, the powder, you put the water in it and shake it. And it gives where, you a nice little flavor. Where do you find them? I got mine from Walmart. <clears throat> okay. Good to know. I didn't even know that existed. Yeah, I'm gonna try to look it up. But yeah, I got they come in different flavors. It put it puts me in the mind of a mighty muffin. So it's it and it's, the concept is the same. Great replacement. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, try try that, Bernice. I don't yep. think they have as much protein in them. Is the Mighty Muffin. They're only like nine grams of protein versus the Mighty Muffin too. So it's a little different. Yeah. Are they in the library? I have I'm not sure. I, I seen them at Walmart and I was comparing them to the Mighty Muffin. That's the only reason why I know. I want to find out because I, I didn't I don't I don't see them in the um in the library. Halo Top, Pops, Fruit Pops, Ice Cream. No. I don't know anything it's about a new it. thing. Let's take a look. Let's see if they're right, because we don't want to lead anybody astray. Mm -hmm. Halo Top, Outer, see what that looks like. Hey, I found a Halo Top brownie on Walmart, but it, it shows it only has like one gram of protein. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's not going to be the same. It's not the equivalent of it. Is Sorry, this, strike it. Uh, is this what we're talking about? <laughs> no, the one I have is in a little tub. Um, yeah. Yeah, that one right there, that Travis. One. That one right there. The one that's right, the gold. This one. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see. I don't even see the nutrition on it. Hold on. That's the one I'm talking about. I could be wrong, but this is a good uh, learning. Yeah it, yeah, it looks really good. Let's see. But I don't think it's going to be the equivalent of a Mighty Muffin, though, is what I was saying. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. I just thought that it would be a good little, if you're out, you know, it just. Here we go. 170 calories per container. <laughs> They're I'm not a pool. Um, I don't know. Maybe, five, yeah. No. Five, five grams of fat is 45 calories from fat. Well, because you're in. If you try to open it, it'll let you out. Yeah, this would not be approved. But okay. hey, I, I bet it tastes good. Yeah, sorry about that. Good, okay. good, good learning lesson. 
And Sorry about that. But, Thank but, you, Travis. But here's where y'all, hey, here's where everything's approved, okay? Look, yeah. Look at, look at what Lauren said. Could it be mixed? At what church? Let me mute that, y'all. Hold on. Look at what Lauren says. Can you mix it with egg whites? Then it would work. Now, we don't know how it will taste, but there's always a way to fix something. But we just have to explore that. So we don't know how it would taste. It may not be worth talking about. But Lauren says if we can mix it with egg whites, it would work. And it would. We could. Add well, I'm going to be the one to test it and let you know. <laughs> yeah. Just make sure if you're using egg whites, you use double pasteurized. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll move on. Okay, y'all. It's good, good to have you. We're switching gears now. And we're going to talk about our journal challenge. Y'all just got to see why we all need to stay close to the library because I didn't know. And uh, if if we didn't have that library, we could get ourselves in trouble, including me. Because if I don't eat it, I don't remember it. Yeah, sorry. I can't keep up with the stuff I don't eat. There are thousands of items in that library. So we want to be careful. So I'm going to our group challenge and our journal challenge to see how we're doing. Group one, check this out, y'all. We just started this thing. We, we're not even through five days. <laughs> Angela, 9.7 pounds through four days. Bryant, 9.3. Tell me journal challenges don't work. Leona, 8.2. Jay Chancy, 5.1. Miss Darla, 5. Jennifer, 5. Uh, Mayday, 4.6. Gina, 4.4. Health as well, 4.3. Zena rounds out the top 10 at 4.2. And we got y'all to walking. I guess earning those letters works. Angela, 62.5 miles in four and a half days. Are you kidding me? Angela, how many letters have you earned? <laughs> You're smoking it. Look at all these reps that y'all are doing. Look at this. Y'all are battle buddy. I'm so proud of y'all. Stinking proud of y'all. Look at, let's see what group two's doing. Oh, Kiara in first place for both groups, 12 pounds down a total of 50.6. Great results. Cindy Walters, are you kidding me? 3.2 down, but 16.8 walked. Good gracious. So we've got Kiara at 12 down, T. Weaver at 6.1, Tam, Tammy, maybe 5.5, 5, uh, 42867, 5.4, Big White Farm, 4.6, Cheryl, 4, Penny, 3.6, Louise, 3.4, Cindy, 3.2, JTR, 3.2. And look at all these steps. Cindy in four, at four days is 40,000 steps. So proud of everybody. Group one, though, my goodness. I'm proud of group two, but group one, good gracious. Y'all are battle buddy. And look at Cindy. She's already won three battle buddies. I didn't even look at that other group. Let's take a look, battle buddies. Who's winning these battle buddies? Kristen Glover, six battle buddies. Darla, three battle buddies won. Angela, two. So good. And, and what we're doing is we're creating awareness. Are you noticing that? You're much more aware. Much more aware. Great job. I'd love to hear somebody uh, talk a little bit about how the week has been for you. Has it motivated you? Uh, having those things to focus on and get to earn those letters or more letters. Talk. Somebody talk to me about what you're thinking and how you're feeling after four days. Angela, talk to us. How did that feel to get such a, an amazing start to the week? It was pretty good. Um, where I just come up all the meds and out of the rehab, I'm trying to went through and reorganized my kitchen, shibified everything again, because where I had been laid up, my daughters had filled the cabinets with all kinds of junk food. <laughs> so I was purging the house of all the icky. 
as we call it, and getting everything set up. But I did notice that from being laid up in there so long that I was snacking a lot more than I should have. So I've really had to embrace the growl and just knuckle down. And the accountability of the journal has really helped me. And of course, I'm always been stubborn. So <laughs> I'm determined, you know, and but I realized that controlling my portions has really uh, been a challenge as well. Even though I was eating the approved things, it was in the wrong amounts because I had gotten used to uh, overeating at the rehab center because they would come in there, your sugar's too low, you have to eat, blah, blah, blah. And they'd give me the wrong stuff. Of course, it was mostly carbs and, you know, it sugar spike and the weight just kept going up. And they didn't like the fact that I wanted to IMF every morning during the week and not do breakfast. So that's a relief being able to do my normal routine, as I call it. So it's really helped me, the, the journaling. Good job. Of course, I had journaled all, almost unceasingly until I ended up in the hospital. So uh, I didn't realize how important it was to me to keep me focused because in my routine, when I get up of a morning, I get up about five o'clock and I get on my elliptical and I get my stretch bands out. Uh, I'm still doing seated routines per doctor's orders because I still have trouble walking a little and uh, so to prevent fall injury I have to do seated routines but with the exercises that I learned from the shibby site you know you have a whole workout system in there that I can do from the neck rolls to the arm circles you know uh, I use my stretch bands for resistance you know it keeps me focused and then I journal when I'm done and plan my day and I upload my pictures as I eat, you know, and it just, it keeps me focused. It keeps me centered. It, it's, I have a battle plan. I can win because I know what I'm doing. <laughs> if I don't journal, ah, uh, what's a cupcake? You know, <laughs> not that I eat cupcakes, but you know, it's that attitude. It's like, well, nobody will know if I'm not journaling. So it keeps me honest. Great job. Fantastic job. Really proud of you. Carla says she's proud of you. Way to get back at it. I see a, boy, the steps are just, y'all are just killing it with the steps. Any, anybody else want to share? Any non-scale victories? Anything you want to share to inspire the group? I had blood labs this week and my doctor told me after just three weeks back on Shibby, he told me that I had cleaner blood labs than most 15 year olds. Yeah. The, they, he, he was amazed. And all it is is whole foods and no junk and no insulin or no sugars. Yeah. Yeah, the way I look at any time that I have high presence of insulin, I just say I'm sticky. That's what I say. In my journal, you'll see over and over, I feel sticky. Because when you got that insulin, it clings to everything. It makes everything grow. It clings to everything. It grabs the fat. It grabs the toxins. It grows everything. So keeping those insulin levels lower is better. Even, uh, again, I don't mean to keep plugging a supplement, but I took myself off of berberine for a day and a half, and already my blood sugar levels are running on the high end of the proper range instead of the low end. Keeping those insulin levels down low, and I could do the same thing by eating more raw broccoli, but I don't like to eat that much raw broccoli. But uh, anyway... Keep keeping those insulin levels really low. It's the the lower you can keep them, the better off you're going to be. Your blood will clean up because you're not sticky anymore. Anybody else? Just so you know what we're doing, if you if you're still struggling figuring that out, I know some people have bowed out because they couldn't figure it out. It's real easy. All we have to do is journal. You don't have to get the big points. Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. And then in the process of the 40 days, you might figure out, oh, okay, I can do this and, and, and get more of the letters and have some fun with everybody. 
So we've got a worksheet that's Jesus is Lord. It's kind of like a modified version of bingo almost. And every wow challenge you do, you don't have to do wow challenges, but every wow challenge you do, you get a letter. You get to pick a letter that day, one letter a day. If you want to pick more than one letter a day to get through that phrase quicker and get 100 points, then you can do a wow challenge or a zip slim challenge. And then you can add on 20,000 steps for three letters, 30,000 steps to get the entire word Jesus, 50,000 steps to complete the entire phrase, Jesus is Lord in one day. You also earn points for winning battle buddies. You earn points for completing the 21 day self mastery challenge because many were already involved in that. And every time you complete that phrase, you get a hundred points for your team. And the more times you do that, the more fat loss there's going to be too. So we're just having fun with it. Did everybody get their email yesterday? I think we're on part three of our little story. Not that the story is going to be interesting or anything like that to you, but it just signifies, okay, I need to look for that because there might be information I need also in there. Um, so you should be uh, on number three. I ask because uh, a lot of people aren't, or if not finding their email, check your promotional folders and your spam folders. Our stuff usually lands there. The reason it does is not that we're spamming. We've just been marked so many times because of keywords. Jesus, fat, those kind of keywords, weight loss in a certain time frame, they generally flag you and then throw you in people's spam folders until you say this is safe mail for you. Loving the story. Hopefully it's fun. We're humbling ourselves like little children. Is berberine good for you even if you aren't a diabetic? Yes, indeed it is. Absolutely. For longevity, berberine does more than control blood sugar. The more research I do, the more I'm impressed. If you absorb the berberine, that's a, the whole class in itself, absorption. If you absorb the berberine, it's going to save your mitochondrial health. Mitochondria is in the in the cells, those little filaments that are responsible for taking the fat and converting it to energy. Without mitochondria, we eventually die. And that's what happens, our mitochondrial death through the years. As we age, we experience mitochondrial death. Insulin destroys mitochondria like nothing else. It's like the fat bus runs over the mitochondria and destroys them. And they don't replenish themselves. So you, uh, uh, the, 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 more, the better mitochondrial health you have, the more longevity that you're going to experience and better quality of life you're going to experience. So I'm huge on berberine. Um, there's a lot of knockoffs that don't have the right mineral technology for you to even absorb it. But because it's got berberine in there, they can put berberine on the bottle. Go with either the one I recommend or go with Thorn. If if like if you're a personality that's like, I don't like it because he's always talking about it, so I'm not getting it. I understand. I do. I really do. I'm not making fun. Then go get Thorn. I just want you to get what you need inside your body. And Thorn is a, a top-notch company if you're not going to go with the wellness company, which I wish you would. There's a lot of, when you go through Walmart, I'm not saying everything in Walmart's bad, but you get what you pay for. They are in it for margin. Travis, uh -huh. is, um, is there been a video or something? Because I know oftentimes you talk about the best way to take certain supplements. Is there a way that can aid in the absorption of that berberine, a certain way to take it? order to take it in or anything if, if you wanted to go with a different brand then you would like it you just do research to even look at the sourcing of the berberine but like it let's say that you wanted to save money and get a cheap berberine just make sure you also get some chromium uh, and then take it as directed and then you might absorb it but to me it's just i'm gonna go with something i know i'm gonna absorb you get 10 times the absorption with the wellness company's berberine. And I think the problem with that for most of my clients is they're like, I don't want to order from that company every month. And I don't like being told that I got to. 
You can be a non-member member and order it as needed, and you don't have to get no certain amount of points. It's it's just a shopping club. So you just don't get the 30 to 50% discount, but it's still of incredible value. Just throwing that out there for people listening. Excellent. I do take that berberine. So if you're taking and personally, I'm a huge fan of the wellness company. Um, but, but so there, if you're taking that one, you don't really have to be concerned about absorption. No. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah. Otherwise just take it as directed. I've been trying to experiment with it like one would metformin. Um, I have been purposely, I can show you now purposely spiking my blood sugar. I've lost the weight that I want to lose. I've been purposely spiking my blood sugar. And then I, I take berberine the wrong way. I take it right after and I see how long it takes to get my blood sugar back down. Okay. And then uh, it, it is even helping after. Like if I forget to take it, it's even helping it get down lower after. I don't have a big enough sample size to say that's going to work every time, but it seems to be helping it come down faster when I take it even afterwards than if I don't take it at all. Okay. That sounds great. Thank you, sir. Anybody else? Yeah, Travis, I have a comment. So okay. I had to get on prednisone two days ago. And um, in my journal, you can see that my um, CGM went up to like 350. It was on high for a long time. And then I take my berberine and you could see it go back down. And then when I took my prednisone the next day, it was going back up. So you could see the fluctuation. So berberine did... Um, lower my blood sugar while taking the prednisone and I'm on day three today so mm -hmm. and I did lose two pounds since yesterday but I gained like two pounds the day before so mm -hmm. you know but I'm staying strict with Shibola's and I'm staying with the journal so I'm really working to see how that prednisone can get better yeah and and just, thanks for sharing with everybody. And like I got blocked the other day from Facebook for saying berberine is nature's Ozempic. They don't want you to know about this stuff. That's just how it is. So it's uh, it does work. But you said something else that was critical whether you're taking Ozempic or Berberine, you're eating right. No matter what you do, there's no shortcut. All these other things do is in print. Now, what I like about Berberine, it's really not even a weight loss product. No. It's a detoxifier. I didn't know that when it first came out. I was like, oh, it's going to replace my Carbies. The other day, I took Carbies and Berberine and eat something sweet that was not approved, and my blood sugar did not move. I had a shouting fit, did not move. So, you know, and berberine is so much more than just a weight management tool. Hey, Travis, <clears throat> how do you recommend to take the berberine? Because I have the berberine from the wellness company. Uh -huh. I just want to know how to take, what, is, what do you recommend? How do you recommend to take it? Take it twice a day with two okay. with your eating episodes if, if i'm only eating once a day i still take it early in the day on an empty stomach but then i take it again with my eating episode okay thank you yeah anybody else remember this is a 40-day journal challenge i'm on my knees like it's gonna help i'm on my knees begging you finish this challenge and all you got to do is journal if you worst case scenario journal 40 holidays but i want you to write down why you had those holidays it's beautiful life-changing stuff Any, anybody have anything for me before we go today Yes, I am on the website looking for berberine, and they ha it looks like they have one, two, three, four, five, six different ones. Which one is the best? How do I I'm, I'm sorry, Sharon, what website are you on? 
Well, it took me to Amazon, and it says it's the wellness company. It's not. Let me get um, Lisa to give you a link. Okay. And then what what happens, like, you'll see that it's more than 400 shopping items, clean items that they manufacture themselves. And then you'll search berberine, and you'll see the, the right berberine. And if it's something you're interested in, just reach back out to me. And then we'll talk about how that shopping club membership works. You can be a non-member or you can join their club for a year and it's a dollar, a dollar for a year. But if you want the discounts, you have to swap where you shop, but you can cancel anytime. And people, some people don't like that. So you can just order it and try it and see if it helps you. And you, you know, it's, it's, you just don't get the big discount, but okay. I can send you information on how all that works it was the best consumer decision I've ever made. So I love the, the shopping club. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Thank you. Can I say something about the shopping club too? Um, Travis, they have a good <clears throat> they have a good um product for menopause too. That's really great. I would just like to say that for women that's probably going through menopause. So mm -hmm. if you get that and maybe the berberine every month, it's really worth it. I forgot how much money you got to spend uh, a month. But if you just keep up with those supplements alone, it's worth getting in the club mm -hmm. because, you you know, I think you have to pay 90 points. I forgot what it was, but great menopause. I would just like to just put that plug in. Yeah, <clears throat> I get appreciate that. I get asked all the time, why do I – is it all in my mind that I feel better on these? It's not in your mind. It's the absorption. It You get nine to 10 times better the absorption. They can't make that claim without the studies to back it up. So it's the absorption. Huge difference. When we take something that, hey, we've heard that these vitamins, these minerals are good for us or whatever. There's studies on these, and that's why the bottle exists on the shelf somewhere, you know, at Walmart. But without the absorption, it's not doing you any good. It, it's just a, um, it's, it's placebo. You have to absorb micronutrients. And the only way your body will absorb it, it has to recognize it in a bioidentical way. Like this looks to my body exactly like my body would find it in nature. Like hormone therapy, hormone replacement therapy. The reason that's so powerful is that it's, the testosterone or whatever hormones are optimizing that they're giving you, they're bioidentical, just like your body would normally produce it. And it looks like that that's the same way your supplements have to be. Or in fact, supplements, a lot of people have autoimmune issues in this country, not just because of inflammation and eating too much plant-based food that's processed, but they have it because they're taking supplements that are not bioidentical. They're not in nature's format. And then you get the friendly fire. That's what autoimmune issue is. Your body's not recognizing it and starts firing, firing, trying to destroy a foreign agent. And it starts killing itself, basically. Is this correct? Berberine two times a day, morning on empty stomach, then 15 to 30 minutes for largest meal of the day. Penny, I've altered that. Keep in mind, I have a, a, a stack that I've been using for 20 years called Cheater's Relief. When I'm having a hog trough day, hog trough, I have carbies and fibo trim before the hog trough. I don't take those every day because I get headaches because this shuts down the blood sugar impact so rapidly. If I'm having a Shibboleth approved meal, I've altered how, I, at first, I jumped to a conclusion. I thought, well, berberine will replace carbies. I didn't do my research proper. I just said, ah, it's another carb blocker. That's not what berberine is. It's so much more than a carb blocker. So then I started looking into how it, it uh, salvages mitochondrial health, just like metformin does, without the bad side effects. So this is, wow, this is kind of like nature's way of giving us these shots that everybody are buying without the unintended consequences. So then I kept calling the company to make sure it was safe for my clients who are already eating better and their blood sugar lowering to take twice a day. And they kept pushing to 
Yes, have them take it as directed. They wouldn't really go into deep detail why, but now I know why. It's a detoxifier. It helps salvage your mitochondrial health. It helps regulate your blood sugar better. So if you're eating right, taking it twice a day is ideal. I still am learning that if I'm going to eat really bad, I'm still taking my berberine, but then I take carbase and my blood sugar. I ate, I ate Reese's the other day just to see, and my blood sugar didn't move. I took, I took my berberine like normal. I took my carbase right before I ate the Reese's. Got, I mean, I got like a, just a tiny bump. Usually it would go through the roof. Now, I don't know if that's going to be an outlier and it was something else going on with me because that happens too, but I'm going to try it again when it's time for a holiday because I've got hooked on these darn Reese wafer things. But e anyway, I don't eat them every day. You shouldn't either. Um, is Zip Slim the same as Advocare Spark? It's not. Here's where people start getting mad at me though. So let me explain. Zip Slim is the cleanest beverage that I can find that does the following. It, it uh, elevates metabolism, it appetite control, it's taken the fitness world by storm because the fitness girls, they're, before they get on stage, they're, they're better able to control appetite, elevate their metabolism, and it gives them a feel good when they're eating so little and hungry. So Zip Slim's kind of taken that whole fitness world by storm. So when we were asked to look at it, it was one of those one out of 10 products that we look at. And I thought, this is interesting. I'm not giving up my Spark because there's too many flavors, but it does what Spark does times several other things. And it's cleaner than Spark. Um, Zip Slim is a pretty incredible product. It's kind of pricey. And then when people say, I can't afford that stuff, I have to remind people every day, we're going to do that budget class, counting my supplements. That's peak performance every day, berberine every day, Zip Slim. Doing that with the way I eat, I guarantee you, is less expensive than 90% of the people on planet Shibola. I don't buy waste. I don't buy junk. I didn't buy those Reese's. My daughter brought them. I, I don't buy that stuff. So my budget doesn't include, so it comes down to, I'm not trying to, because basically all you need is fast track. Okay. Everything else we do, do and talk about is bells and whistles. I think if you are going to have a budget for health and wellness, forget everything that I've just said, including berberine. If you have a limb, because it's fascinating, right? We hear of a new thing here, a new thing there. We want to try everything. I'm telling you, you can believe me or not, if you have a budget for supplements, your first two priorities and then in the discussion should be peak performance and collagen, not that other stuff. Then if you want to add things on, then add some things on. But peak performance or and the collagen, if you can't do the peak, do the vitality. It's relatively inexpensive. Does that make sense, everybody? Darla says, if you haven't tried Zip Slim, it's fantastic. I think if if I can keep Sandy and Charles on point, um, they've lost 70 pounds, more than 70 combined in about a month. And if I can keep their head in the game, they're about to go on the Zip Slim part of their, their challenge. And you'll see, it's pretty amazing. It's It helps. It's great on your fasting days. You're just not hungry, in my opinion. I'm not hungry when I do Zip. I mix Zip. I don't have it in here, but I mix Zip Slim with collagen and activate C, and I'm good for eight hours. If you're eating right and already controlling insulin, does taking berberine not make it dip too low? It might. It hasn't with me. You might want to keep close. Uh, you might want to keep close to you some berries. These are things I do when my blood sugar dro drops off the ledge. Berries, a cup of bio coffee, um, some rehydrate, you know, but I haven't had any problem like that.
Is Zip Slim the same as that? Oh, we just did that one. Sustain is a good, Sustain is a cleaner version of Spark. The reason I still drink Spark is because I love all those flavors and it's cheap. <laughs> Sustain for me, I, I want to love it because it's cleaner, but I don't like the aftertaste. So I still drink Spark. Anyone else? Everybody satisfied? Good. Did you learn anything today? Or you still excited? Feels the energy's a little. May just be me. Hey, I have a question, Travis, right quick. And just okay. thank you. Thank you. Just you're just great. I am a fan. I want to just thank you so much. God bless you. Um, I want to know what, so you say when you fast, what are those three products again, the Zip Slim? Where can you get that from? Is it in a city store or is that the wellness center? It, it is another one of them like a shopping club kind of experience. Um, a lot of companies that used to be like MLM, they've went this affiliate route and they 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 market their products to affiliates. Um, and they have, anybody can be an affiliate for them. Most companies are moving that way if they're not big box retailers. So it is, it's kind of like that too, kind of like the well, but they only really have one product. Well, two products. They have zip and boom. And, okay. So, so what I want to know is you said when you fast, what are the three supplements you get again when you're fasting? What are, what are you doing? Oh, I got you. I, I know what you're talking about. So when I get up in the morning, my favorite thing over the last two weeks has been Zip Slim uh -huh. mixed with Collagen Boost, mixed with Activate C, and I'll explain that. Three cubes of ice in a blender. It just sets me on fire. I felt so much better all week. This morning. I don't know if anybody's noticed, but I've noticed uh, but you know, this is what going to blow your mind for me to even say this. I think the thing that the feel good is coming from the activate C. So everything that vitamin C is supposed to do, I've never experienced. Anytime I've gotten sick, anytime vitamin C, vitamin C. Well, I got to reading about their activate C and just decided to try it for the first time. There's some special other ingredients in there, but it's a very potent, immediately absorbable form of vitamin C. And it will, your energy tank, it, and it's not a caffeine energy, it's just a natural energy. It's, it's beautiful. So I put those three together and I just feel incredible until late afternoon. And then it's about time to eat anyway. Okay. And then Liz gave me the link for the wellness company um, thing. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Yeah. Carol takes Activate C. I just didn't pay it no mind. It's just vitamin C. Been told by it. I'm a know it all, right? So it's like, wait a minute absorption every time i call the company to talk to their their product development side i learn something new and I, what i'm learning the key word is absorption that's the difference anybody else if a company's trying to make money and they can you know every nutrition label every supplement label they give you they give you what i call fudge factor right they let you lie a little bit. Every company that's in it to make money, do they care if you absorb it or not? No. They just want to get it as cheap as they can, make as much as they can, make the claim that they need to make through the loophole. What I love about the wellness company is integrity. So I have hereditary hemochromatosis. Did I say that right? Hemochromatosis. Iron overload can't have over 500 milligrams. That makes sense. Um, I don't. I don't have it with me, darling. It's in the pantry. When we dismiss, I'll run and get it and look for you. Oh, I can look it up. Okay. Thank you. 
Anybody else? Hey, Travis. Uh huh. I just wanted you to know um, that I got the from the wellness company. I picked up the K two D three. Mm -hmm. And I also picked up the CoQ10 and, you know, I have access to anything that I want as a doctor. I can get anything I want. Um, but I wanted to make sure that I had absorption. I wanted to make sure I didn't have time actually to mess around. And so I was like, you know, I have a wellness company account. I use it every month. And I got them in two days ago and I am thrilled because the stress of, you know, the, the least amount of stress, I absolutely know it's going to be absorbed. I absolutely know I don't have to worry about allergies or any of that. And it's just, I have to tell you for, for what we're doing and how we do it, it's just such a relief to have the wellness company in our back pocket. I agree. I appreciate you sharing that because it's, it really has been the best consumer decision that I've made. It may not have been the best business one, but it was the best consumer. And it hasn't hurt, but it's been the best consumer decision that I've ever made. So I appreciate you sharing. I really believe in them. In them. Lauren says, I wish I could get more to feel that way about them. And you can set an appointment and Lauren, there may just be something missing in translation for you. Um, I feel like if you get the right information, there's no denying it. Uh, so you might want to set an appointment with Lisa and we'll talk about it and try to figure out what your concerns are with it. Cause I want to get those products in every body, especially peak performance and collagen. The reason we're losing shoppers, Lauren, is because it's about the product. Make it about the product and um, spend time educating people on the product. I, I, I think th that when people are like, I'm not spending that 75 points, they're spending it somewhere and they're getting junk. So it's just education. Programs like that, you have to educate people. And if we're not willing to educate them, you're going to lose them because it's $10 cheaper at Walmart. But if you educate them, then, and bring them to me, I'll help you with them. I'll help you with your people. When, when they make it, when they I think there are bad seeds out there. I think Dr. Elizabeth will agree. There's bad seeds out there that it's not the wellness company. It's people making, exploiting the product for financial gain when we should be educating people on the product, making it about the product. Travis, can I say something there too? Uh -huh. um, you not only have that current threat, but I read a study and it was about a month ago, but it was not a, a scientific study. It was just saying, so if you have a product that is a company that you trust and you are in a hurry like me, sometimes you could hop on Amazon and try to get it. They have found the counterfeit so many times, the counterfeit coming to patients. And I've had patients come to me and show me bottles. They're like, you know, I looked up what you recommended. I went to Amazon and the bottle, they bring the bottle, open it up. And they're like, look at the different colors inside. Look at who the receipt is from on the processing of Amazon, things like this. And not to bash Amazon, they can't keep track of it all, but the counterfeit and corruption that's in there is pretty strong. So with the wellness company, I know it's coming labeled and I know I'm getting what I'm seeking. Yes, absolutely. And look, we got to keep preaching that because people are not only dying, they're wasting their money. And Lauren, let me suggest something. Again, it's out there for you if you need help with it. So if you'll use, I have a system that I use for that and you'll keep them, but you might want to say, are you in my group? Are you in my organization? Okay, if you are, let's double check, but then we'll get you on the calendar, and, and let, let me show you how to fix that. You're, you're not going to do what those people above you are doing, right? You don't need to, and you don't really want to. You're going to, I'm going to show you a system and you can educate people and you won't lose your shoppers like that. 
and the people that you do get, a larger percentage will stay with you. Because what can I can I just get y'all to even if you're not doing the wellness company, there's so many scams out there. Am I right or am I wrong? Mm -hmm. If you take the time to prove that your lifestyle works by you leading the way and doing it and believing in the things that you're espousing rather than talking about money all the time, you're more likely to be interested and stay with them. So that's what it's about is you live in that lifestyle in front of them. There's so many people that get in those things and they're trying to sell peak performance. They don't even take it themselves. They say, I can't afford to take it until I make some money off of it. You should be ashamed of yourself. So I'm not going to try to sell anything that I don't take. And I take peak performance and collagen every single day before that. I took AdvoCare because it was the best that I could afford. Uh, I've always been a believer in Thorn. And if you just tell people the truth and then you let them know, they don't have to get 35 points. They don't have to get 35 points. If you get somebody that, if you just let them get involved and take the products, if you can get them to take the products for a month or two, when they come off of them, if they've had their blood work, it's signed, sealed, delivered, in my opinion. But if you'll just get them on the products, 80% of the time they're going to stick with them because they're the best. Anybody else? That was a sidebar conversation. Hey, Travis, this is Cheryl, and I'm, I'm driving, but I just wanted to let everybody know since you're on this topic, that, um, you know, it took me a few months to sway my husband into uh, taking peak performance. And so for the last two months, he's been on the peak performance brain health. And he had to go off all supplements five days before this surgery he had yesterday. And the first thing he said out of his mouth this morning was, give me my blue packet. He has <laughs> not been able to take it. And he has absolutely felt it. Uh, for five days, he's not been able to take it. So this morning, first thing, that's what he wanted was his blue packet. So I just wanted to share that with you that um, it really does work. And for someone who's a non-believer on pretty much everything I do, he says, it's good enough for you, but now you just keep it. I'll deal with it my, my own way. He's a believer now in what peak performance does. Great job. Great job. You He's still saving his life. Been doing it since Absolutely. Absolutely. Just a little bit at a time. Yep. Love it. Thanks for sharing. Anybody else? Everybody good? I hope the Cheryl, everything went well. It did. He's home. Uh, he was, I just now got him back to the house. He went into the shop with me this morning at um, 7 a.m. and I just took him home so he could rest. But all is good. Good deal, lots of prayers going up. All right, if all hearts and minds are clear, we will just close out in prayer and be dismissed. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, Lord, our daily bread. Forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Thank y'all very much. Talk soon. Mm -hmm.